All right, so what is the most interesting part about the Eminence in Shadow? It's not the main plot. It's not the main character. It's how it's explained, how the storytelling works. So we have a main character, Minoru Kageno, who turns out to be Sid Kageno. He ends up in another world. It's a very typical isekai. He dies, he finds himself in another world, right? But the thing is, he died when he was 18 years old. In anime world, really 18 year, years old really means he's like somehow 30 years old. So my thing here is he is a person with already a lot of life wisdom at the age of 18. He is a character, you know, he's not the typical protagonist. He already has his own resolve. He already knows what he wants to be. No matter how fantastical, no matter how make-believe it is, he believes in what he believes, and that is to be this shadow and eminence character that's kind of vague, right? To us, the audience is vague, but to the main character, he knows exactly what he wants to be. So a lot of shonen characters and main protagonists, what do they want to do? They have to have a lot of uh, help from other characters they're trying to achieve something right so for Sid Kagano he just wants to gain power right so that motivation alone is like many other bad guys quite frankly is many characters they just want to gain power to take over the world for whatever reason right so in Sid's case he just wants to gain power in order to you know be this shadowy character to fight bad guys in the shadows to be this vigilante character right but overall, that's not the most interesting part about this show. The most interesting part about this show is you have these characters that have all this wisdom, right? You have your Master Roshis, you have your Kakashis, you have your Jiraiyas, you have all these characters that are there specifically to pass on wisdom. We are three episodes in the Shadow of Eminence and we don't have that wisdom character, that character that the main character goes to help guide them. Even in Mob Cycle 100, you have Mob and then you have Reagan. Reagan gives Mob the, the life lessons that he needs, the direction he needs. But Sid Kagano, he already has direction. He has wisdom. He has a lot of power. From what we've seen through three episodes, now I haven't wa I read the manga or anything like that, I'm watching this purely off the anime, and so far he looks very strong, he knows what he's doing, and what does he do? He goes out there and he teaches the bad guys lessons, right? He's teaching everyone lessons, so in episode one, what happens? You have Akane Nishino, she is living her life behind a mask. And she realizes by the end of the episode, hey, I could tell that he's living behind a mask too. And so that's how they, that, that, that was kind of the life lesson there. So she, through the eyes of another character that's not the main character, Akane Nishino, she was able to character develop within one episode. We knew about this character, her struggles, and she, we found out the, the lesson behind the episode of characters living behind a mask in episode two what happened Sid Kagano's sister Claire she revealed to us hey she learned everything from kicking the crap out her younger brother her younger brother was the one teaching her everything and she said what she said it's not about how much magic you have it's about how you use it from that point of view in episode two it's not Sid Kagano learning something it's him teaching something through the main protagonist point of view in episode three what happens he runs into princess Alexia princess Alexia she has all this amount of shame she has this traumatic shame from from her own abilities because she has this inferiority complex with her older sister but from Sid's point of view, he's like, yo, being basic is fine. Like with your skills and being basic with your abilities, that is fine. And that takes us back to the episode two of what Sid told Claire. 
he told Claire that it's not about how much magic you have, it's about how you use it. And so in that case, you have this clashing of perspectives with Princess Alexia who hates what she is given. And you have Sid Kagano saying it's fine to be basic. So you kind of have this this kind of warping of, uh, of, of a protagonist that's he is the character that provides the wisdom to all these other characters. And that's what makes this anime freaking interesting because it's like it's, it's not the main character getting all this information and going through all these experiences with other people guiding him. It's him meeting all these other people when he doesn't even want to be in the situation with them. He wants to be a side character. He wants to be a side character, but he ends up with these other characters and he ends up, you know, character developing the other characters. And that's, they're building all these like side characters, which makes it really, really like great to watch because you're just experiencing something that, that that's uh, a storytelling that's a little bit different from a different perspective and that's why i find the eminence and shadow very very interesting and a very very good anime is the the number one anime right now that i'm most fascinated over you have chainsaw man you have my hero you have all these other animes but it's the eminence and shadow which is the most interesting and the most appealing to me and it's because it's way it's the way that it's portrayed right now and yeah just just remember the fight against Viscount Grease in episode 2. He beats him up and then he he's lecturing him. That is the biggest evidence of this. It's like Sid Kagano runs across, you know, Viscount Grease and he beats the crap out of him and he's giving him lessons in how you, you know you should use your power. You know, you don't expect that out of the protagonist uh, or the the main character, not really protagonist. That's what makes this show good. It's, it's very, very appealing. So far, so good. For you guys that, you know, already read the manga, don't spoil it for me in the comments. Don't spoil it. But at so far, three episodes in, like, I'm in. I, I, I really, really like this show. It's the show that I want to talk about the most. And just one last point. The main plot of the Cult of Diablos, the fact that the main plot, it's all in its own head, in its own fantasy land, even though the joke is it's real. Like the Cult of Diablos is apparently real. He doesn't realize that, but the main plot is kind of a mask in order to tell the little intricate stories of his interactions with people on his come up to gain more power. The whole first three episodes, it's not really about the cult of Diablos. It's really the, the interactions, on the ground interactions with other characters that make it interesting. So, so far, so good. I like the Eminence of Shadow. Let me know what you guys think about the Eminence of Shadow. It's my favorite anime that I'm watching right now because it's very, very different for all the reasons I mentioned earlier. The perspective, the storytelling, there isn't this like Kakashi or this guru kind of character that's teaching other people lessons. It's the main character, Sid, teaching other people, dropping gems and dropping wisdom on other characters. That's what I find the most fascinating. And you know, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out the, the anime. Episode four is coming up. I'm really, really excited about this. Do not spoil it for me, you guys, in the comments. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. This is gonna be my very first YouTube video on my anime content only kind of channel. I have another anime figure channel, so go check that out, Otaku Sin. This one's Otaku Sin, and it's gonna be one word rather than two words. And yeah, I have a blog, otakusin.com. Go check out my blog. Yeah, I write about the Eminence and Shadow, I'm writing about Chainsaw Man, all these other animes. I talk about some mangas. I'm really into Black Clover, so go ahead and check that out. And once again, I appreciate you guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.